hello students assalamu alaikum welcome to my youtube channel ishfaq samun vlogs uh, today we will discuss uh, uh, lecture first uh, contemporary world politics part a a book uh, for class uh, 12th political science uh, topic is what was the end of bipolarity so be with me till the end of the lecture so let's start what was the end of bipolarity the socialist revolution in russia in 1917 gave birth to ussr uh, with inspiration of socialism ensure a minimum standard of living for all its citizens and also the government uh, subsidized basic necessities and productive assets were owned and controlled by the state. Uh, so it was uh, a confederation after socialist revolution, a United Soviet Socialist Republic, a confederation of almost 15 republics. So after the Second World War, the East European countries that the Soviet army had liberated from the fascist forces uh, came under the direct control of uh, United Soviet Socialist uh, Republic. Uh, there was a change in the economic and political system of the USSR. Uh, then the Soviet economy uh, became more developed than the rest of the world except the United States of America. So Russia was the only republic among 15 republics uh, who dominated everything and people from other regions felt disregarded and often suppressed. Uh, Soviet Union lagged behind the West in technology, infrastructure, and could not fulfill political aspirations of people. Uh, Soviet invasion in, uh, of Afghanistan in 1979 also weakened the system furthermore. Uh, Mikhail Gorbachev uh, General Secretary of Communist Party of Soviet Union in 1985 initiated the policies of economic and political reforms uh, to democratize the system which were opposed by leaders within Communist Party and contradictory view of people. The people of Republic had been fed up with old style rule of Soviet bloc and in December 1991 under the leadership of Boris Yeltsin, an elected leader, Russia Ukraine and Belarus declared themselves independent. The three major republics, Russia, Ukraine and Belarus, uh, which were the three major republics of a United Socialist Soviet Republic, declared in December 1991 that the Soviet Union was disintegrated. Capitalism and democracy were adopted as the basis for the post-Soviet republics. Uh, the formation of Commonwealth of Independent States CIS, came as a surprise and the exclusion of these states was resolved by making them founder members of the CIS, Commonwealth of Independent States. Uh, Russia was accepted as the successor state of the Soviet Union by inheriting a Soviet seat in United Nations Security Council, it accepted all the international treaties and commitments of the Soviet Union and carried out some uh, nuclear disarmament measures uh, with the United States. Now, Soviet Union had been disintegrated on the grounds to maintain nuclear and military arsenals. Awareness of people of their backwardness than Western capitalism as well as alienation of ordinary people who were exempted 
from any kind of privilege. The rise of nationalism and the desire for sovereignty within republics like Russia, the Baltic republics, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Ukraine, Georgia and others proved to be the most immediate cause for disintegration of the USSR. Uh, disintegration of the USSR resulted into the end of Cold War confrontations, created dominant capitalist system and emerged many new states. Uh, the advantage was taken by Central Asian countries of uh, their geographical location by maintaining relations with Russia, the West, the United States, China and others. The process of transition from an authoritarian socialist system to a democratic capitalist system in Russia, Central Asia and East Europe that was influenced by the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund came to be uh, known as shock therapy. Uh, shock therapy involved privatization of property, private firms emergence, complete switch over to free trade and foreign direct investment, financial opening up currency convertibility as well as breakup of existing trade alliances among the countries of Soviet bloc. Uh, to maintain relations directly with the West. Uh, further, uh, due to inflation, food was imported, uh, destroyed old social welfare system, uh, migration of educated and intellectual manpower, and disparities due to privatization between rich and poor regions of Russia. Uh, the constitutions of newly democratic institutions were drafted in a hurry where strong executives appointed themselves as presidents due to weak parliaments and lack of independent judiciary as in Russia, Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan. Uh, Russia reviewed in uh, 2000 uh, due to export of natural resources like oil, natural gas and minerals which were available in abundance in Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, Russia, Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan and from where these pipelines crossed were paid on uh, rent. Most of the former Soviet republics had civil wars and insurgencies as in Russia. Two republics, Chechnya and Dagestan had violent secessionist movements. In Central Asia, civil war took place in Azerbaijan and Georgia. Uh, uh, Czechoslovakia was also split into two. Even countries and provinces like Ukraine, Kyrgyzstan and Georgia are fighting over river waters leading to instability and making life difficult for ordinary people. The Central Asian republics were rich in hydrocarbons, uh, hydrocarbon resources for economic benefit as oil companies and outside powers had a competition to exploit these natural resources. The United States approached them to higher bases and territories during wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh, Russia and India share a vision of multipolar world order, collective security, greater regionalism, negotiated settlements of international conflicts and independent foreign policy and decision making through the United Nations. India is benefited from Russia on issues like uh, Kashmir, energy supply, sharing information on international terrorism, access to Central Asia and balancing its relations with China. In return, Russia has also been benefited from India on the ground of second largest uh, arms market for uh, Russia. A timeline, uh, March 1985, Mikhail Gorbachev elected as the, uh, as the General Secretary of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union, appoints Boris Yeltsin as the head of the Communist Party in Moscow 
initiates a series of reforms in the Soviet Union. 1988, independence movement begins in Lithuania, later spreads to Estonia and Latvia. October 1989, Soviet Union declares that the Warsaw Pact members are free to decide their own future. Uh, Berlin Wall falls in November. Uh, February 1990, Gorbachev strips the Soviet Communist Party of its 72-year-long monopoly on power by calling on the Soviet Parliament Duma to permit multi-party politics. March 1990, Lithuania becomes uh, the first of the 15 Soviet republics to declare its independence. June 1990, Russian parliament declares its independence from the Soviet Union. June 1991, Yeltsin, no longer in the Communist Party, becomes the president of uh, Russia. August 1991, the Communist Party hardliners stage an uh, above to cope against Gorbachev. Uh, September 1991, three Baltic republics of Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania becomes United Nations members. Later, giant non uh, uh, NATO uh, North Atlantic Treaty Organization in March 2004. In December 1991, Russia, Belarus, Belarus, and Ukraine decide uh, to and all the 1992 treaty on the creation of the uh, USSR and establish the Commonwealth of Independent States, CIS. Uh, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Moldova, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, and Uzbekistan join the uh, Commonwealth of Independent States, CIS. Uh, Georgia joins later in 1993. Uh, Russia takes over the USSR seat in the United Nations. 25th December 1991, Gorbachev resigns as the President of the Soviet Union. The end of the Soviet Union <coughs> uh, uh, was there. So with this, we have completed our uh, lecture. Uh, we will meet soon, coming soon, inshallah. If you want to talk to us, uh, there is words number, number and email ID. You can share your views, you can share your thoughts. So, like and subscribe and comment on uh, this topic. We'll uh, meet in next lecture. Till then, Allah Hafiz.